Hi guys, welcome to In Depth with Jack Madden. This is where I talk about my art and I go into uh, details about what inspired me. Uh, just pretty much how I came up with the artwork. I don't really know how else to say it. That's uh, so, so pretty much we'll, we're just going to be talking about, you know, kind of my inspirations and, and whatnot. So today we're actually going to uh, go in depth uh, with uh, this art piece called Release Your Soul. Um, now this one uh, I took a while back. Um, this one I probably did in 2014 maybe, 2013, somewhere in there. 2012 maybe? I don't even know. <laughs> it's somewhere far, far back. Um, I was living in Chicago at the time and um, I in, in the area that I lived in, um, there wasn't a whole lot of, of kids really my age. I, I was, uh, I think I was 19 or, or 20 at the time. And uh, so pretty much, uh, I, I pretty much took this picture uh, by accident. It, not necessarily an accident, just we stumbled upon uh, this, this area. Uh, so I was at my, uh, my friend Tenny's house, okay? And Tenny had a very big yard. He had a garden, and uh, what what he would do is he would uh, smack golf balls into his backyard, or further into his backyard, which was trees and whatnot. So I ended up uh, going over to his house one day, and I saw that he's whacking these these balls right into the into the wood. And I was like, hey, I want to get in on this action too. So I was hell yeah smacking all these balls and uh, the only thing that kind of sucked is once you ran out of balls you, you had to go and get them so um, I had my camera found so many I saw so many cool photo opportunities and cool like um, you know like sceneries and stuff saw this open area with these trees as you can see they're they're, they're coming in like this I thought that was perfect what uh, inspired me to do the smoke, uh, I, I don't even think that that's what I, I wanted, I knew that I wanted some kind of smoke. And I didn't actually know what the end result of this picture was going to be. All I knew is I really liked this open meadow with trees surrounding it, right? It was great. I, I really loved how the branches all came in like a like the like a roof of a house if you will um, I loved it and I knew that I wanted to do something with it so I ended up uh, we ended up we were hanging out we ended up hanging out for the rest of the day and I uh, had got my tripod because at that point I didn't have my tripod and uh, so I go back and I had this idea I mean it hit me I think later on in the day uh, after I was already taking pictures I must have taken like 30 pictures in this one area alone I wanted I, I think at this point like I wanted I had I had a cigar uh, and that's what actually what you see uh, coming out of my mouth is uh, is the the cigar that I was smoking so uh, I had the cigar and I remember just Okay, well, I can probably blow it out and then have some kind of cool, like, effect that would look like a soul or something. I don't, I don't even think that I wanted it to be a soul. I think I just wanted something to be escaping, like a ghost or it could have been a soul or, or anything like that. So, yeah, so I stood there. <laughs> I, would, I would run. My, my tripod was probably about, uh, like, 15 feet away, so I would... I would have to run. I had the timer on it. I run back, take a puff of the of the, of the cigar that I had, and it was like a it was a fat one. I don't know if you can see it uh, in my hands. I think it's in my left hand, so you can't actually see it in this picture, but um, <laughs> it's there. I'm holding it. Um, so I took drag, let it escape, and then I I took a lot of pictures. But I think I also had. Um, I think I was using a smoke bomb as well, but it didn't give me the, the same effect uh, that I wanted. Um, it, the, the, the smoke bomb that I used uh, was everywhere, so <laughs> it didn't work. It was 
<laughs> it looked terrible. It didn't look like anything really, so I, I actually uh, ended up scrapping that. But uh, yeah, so I uh, saw this awesome, uh, actually there were so many cool places around where I lived that I, I regret that I did not take pictures of. It's, it's such a bummer. So when I got into the, uh, the editing process, I decided, okay, well, if there's a soul or you know, or my ghost is leaving me or whatever, um, it's already fantasy and it's not real. So I love fantasy or uh, funny manipulation, any of that kind of stuff, that's my thing. I really, really, really enjoy doing that. So uh, I ended up changing actually a lot of in this picture. Um, the smoke, I, I turned to like a blue, so it kind of looks more like a soul. Um, I put uh, some pixies, well, it's like a magical forest. I think it's kind of what I was, was portraying so yeah you're gonna see like red and blue uh, fairies and I I made I changed the colors of um, this was all green when I when I when I took uh, this picture uh, all this uh, that you see here uh, is multicolored now because of the effect that I wanted to portray I wanted it to be magical or you know uh, I wanted it to feel like it was out of this world and that's what I love to do is just out of the box kind of stuff and it turned out great it actually turned out way better than I even thought because at first I had no idea really what I was doing um, I, this is this picture is rather old but I'm very 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 proud of it um, very very fun to, to do and it's you know when when you take pictures like these it's you know rewarding and at least to me because uh, there's something that I had in my head and I was able to put it in picture form even though that this was not What I had in my head in the beginning things changed, you know, and that's you know It turned out better I would say than what I originally had planned because uh, I kind of went in with a With a you know loose idea and then came out with this super badass photo. So yeah, I took this in Chicago uh, I was um, lucky to have known uh, Tenny. If I didn't know Tenny, then I never would have taken this picture. And, uh, yeah. So this is, uh, yeah, just a little bit of what I uh, did to accomplish this picture. So I hope that you guys enjoyed uh, a little bit of the history. And, uh, I'll see you next time. Alright, bye.